Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to do just a real quick video before I got to go because it's the morning rush, but I, I wanted to try to help people out. I, I've been getting helped out so much lately and it's like, I, I don't know, I, I guess inspiring me to help other people out. Like I've always tried to help people out. I, really, I hate when I see people get adva taken advantage of. Like I see so many of these Facebook ad guys and if you're in pressure washing, stop going with these ad agencies for Facebook ads. They're so easy to run. You're, you're wasting your ad budget. Most of them run messaging conversions, which is like, the easiest way to run, and that's why they run it that way, because they don't know how to really do anything technical-wise. They don't know how to build landing pages or anything. Ugh. Guys, start networking with real business owners, not people that pretend they have pressure-washing businesses for clout so they can push Facebook ads upon you. Um, but anyways, they, uh, oh, I'm having a brain for it. Oh, yeah, commercial work. How, how do you get commercial work? There, there's so many different ways, and it, it's, again, easy. You don't know how to do it until you know how to do it, and as soon as you know how to do it, it's like, Eureka, you know what I mean? But the way I find it most of the time is I will A, reach out to property maintenance companies because they're like the key holder of commercial work really for pressure washing and stuff. They're, they're the ones that have all the plazas. They're the ones that have all the, you know, bigger buildings, maintenance contracts. So it sucks because you got to bid lower so they can make their money too. But, but that's the way it is with all commercial work really. Like you can't expect to charge residential prices and pressure washing for commercial work some people do I, I guess like apparently everybody in my area charges top dollar that from what i've been hearing but i don't buy it i don't know they probably don't get that much if, if you want commercial work you got to bid commercial prices you know it's just the way it is but anyways back to what i was saying because i know i'm kind of a scatterbrained retard sometimes so back on track um if, if you want to get commercial work you can like i said go through the property maintenance companies or you can go to Google search and just look up like doing business with and then all the businesses in your area, the bigger businesses, vendor application for bigger businesses in your area, um, procurement, open procurements for all the bigger businesses and cities and stuff, townships and stuff in your area. And that's, that's it really. You can go to the newspaper. The newspaper article should pull up whenever you type in open bids, open procurements, open whatever for cities, different cities. And it does take time, but everything takes time and effort if you want to actually get it. Um, this is the time of year for me with what I do that I'm going to actively be really searching for, for uh, commercial work because this is when they, they always put it in their budget and stuff around you know, the beginning of the year or the end of tax season, like when tax season is coming in for the next year, for some reason, it seems like, but they never like reach out, start planning to last minute because it's not a priority. You know what I mean? Just like, I see a lot of people say, Oh, they start budgeting. You got it right now is the time to, yeah, they start budgeting, but they don't care. They, they're like, Oh, we'll get to it later. Or they'll talk to you and you'll, you'll end up bugging them because you know, it's freaking winter and they don't, they just don't care. They don't care until it's time from what my experience anyways. Uh, everything that I've ever gotten is like planned last minute, poorly, freaking rush, rush, rush to get it done, you know? So it's just the way it seems to be with, with now, if you land a parking garage or something, it might be different, but I honestly don't think that like, I, I, I know there's like a lot of parking garage clout around the, the pressure washing industry, you know, like, cause it's big bucks, but I don't think they go out like, I don't know. I just don't see them. It's cool. Cause there's like big money in them. And again, you can't charge like. 20 cents a square foot or nothing they're probably getting them for like three to eight cents a square foot but i don't know i just don't see them being everyday type of thing you know what i mean like it seems like some people are lucky enough to have to have the in with these property maintenance companies but for the most part i think i think you're better off sticking to like trying to find the doing business with this company doing business with that company and when they need their equipment cleaned or they need their the front of their office buildings cleaned or they need their plazas cleaned or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, or high rises, whatever. That, that's whenever, that, there, there's more of that work, you know what I mean? I feel like it's better to look up that kind of work. I don't even know where I'm going with this. It's too freaking early.